Welcome, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video you will be learning about natural language understanding from IBM Watson. Now this is super important in today's world because it allows humans and robots to communicate together. Now stick together and right after the intro I will tell you all about natural language processing in IBM. Let's go! Welcome to IBM Cloud and to the AI machine learning services that IBM has to offer. In today's video, we are going to be focusing on natural language understanding. Natural language understanding, as said, is a core fundamental skill that every AI machine learning expert should have, but it also is a, a core solution that is going to help us solve many different problems and in today's module you will learn how to utilize this solution not only for IBM but I hope that uh, we will understand the general concepts of it and what are entities, emotions, relations, uh, how the model is built, how you can utilize it, how you can get started right away and especially how you can get started for free testing it out uh, very easily and quickly. So without further ado, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now so that you don't forget and you don't miss any more content like this. Give me a thumbs up, that really supports the channel and gets me going to make more content like this. All right, now let's get into the natural language understanding. As a recap, uh, this module will help us understand and analyze large amounts of text. So we can provide different kinds of input into this module and before even going there, creating is, is very simple. All we have to do is click on it and select the free plan that is available and create. Once we have done that, we will have it available in our services. So if we will go back to our services, from our services, we will be able to select the module that we have created. Now, why use natural language understanding all right it is to help us communicate with computer but this module is going to help us analyze and get meaning from large amounts of text and we can provide this text in different kinds of input we can provide it in a table we can provide it in just plain text we can even provide an url for uh, uh for the service and it will analyze even the url uh, leaving out all of the maybe publicity or all of the non-relevant content and analyzing only the relevant content. So right now we are going to see a demo of this module, how it is, uh, how we can use it for different things. Uh, right here, this is your uh, your main page for your once you create your uh, you create your natural language understanding. Uh, module in IBM for free. This is your homepage. This is where you will have access to the different API references, to the Getting Started tutorial. The Getting Started tutorial is a great guide and I think this is a starting point for everybody to get started on. Uh, there is also other things such as, for example, connection. If you would like to connect it to an app or a service that you have built in IBM, but we are going to see the uh, we're going to see the demo, and we're going to right now understand how we can utilize it and what are the different the different components of the demo. So right here I have uh, the uh, official IBM demo for natural language understanding. I will provide the link in the description below, but the link can also be found in the getting started tutorial. So let's see how this work. We have two different, uh, we have some pre-trained models here. So we have industry specific models and what this, uh, what this allows you as well, what this NLP module allows you to do is also to train your own custom models to allow it to give you insight in your industry as well. And in this case, we see that it has been trained on three different models, legal, financial, and media. So there's going to be three different kinds of tech, test with custom model and we're going to see the results that it's going to give for each kind of different with each kind of different model additionally we're going to use our own text and analyze some uh, text and understand what is the meaning of the text and furthermore we can also provide a url and extract the information from the url and see the uh, see what output is collected from the url directly cleaned and already processed for the machine learning to analyze. Now, here you are gonna see a couple of things. Now, we're gonna go over this extraction, classification, linguistic, customs, entity, all of this. 
So in order to understand how the model works, it is important to understand what are the different components that make it up. So starting, let's analyze, let's analyze some text. And let's start with classification. So classification is going to obviously classify our text. What does that mean? That means it's going to either put it into categories and what are categories? So categories uh, is a uh, taxonomy of uh, different categories that are provided by a uh, by IBM on which the model has been trained on. And based on the meaning of the text and the different words and the choice of the sentences, it assigns it to a different category. Now, what are these uh, categories? Now, here I have from the IBM documentation, I have a list of all of the different categories that are provided. So, as you can see, there is a very long list of different categories on which the model has been trained so that it can be uh, it, it can be quite uh, specific on the content that it finds. So based on the content that it finds, it's going to apply a hierarchy of this category. So that is for the categories. So in this case, I am, uh, for example, I am uh, analyzing some custom input. So I have taken the uh, my background and I have uh, from LinkedIn and I have pasted it in here and this is what it is telling me. It has classified it into business and industrial and into automation. And then furthermore it has given it also a subcategory. Based on this text this is the score as well that it gives it. So that is categories. There is again uh, just to uh, highlight there is this list of categories that it, ha that it has been trained on and you should also maybe go through this list and make sure that it also makes sense for whatever classification category classification that you are doing. So going going forward emotion. So emotion is pretty uh, pretty um, straightforward. It is going to detect anger, disgust, fear, joy, sadness. And this is conveyed in terms of uh, percentage, meaning the higher, the highest the percentage, the highest the concentration of words and sentences and meaning that refer to that emotion. So that is also pretty straightforward. And after that, we have also sentiment. Now, sentiment analyzes the general sentiment of the content and the sentiment towards specific target phrases. Uh, so, for example, we can see that mostly sentiment is either positive or neutral. In this case, there is no negative, no negative sentiment. So, this is classification. Now, let's take a look at extraction. Now, what is extraction? Extraction is going to allow us to get meaning from further meaning and uh, group our uh, text into uh, extract a different meaning from our text. So let's let's let, uh, the best way to understand it is let's go uh, category per category and understand which what are each one of these. So entities, what are entities? Entities identify people cities, organization, and other entities inside of the content. So, for example, from my text right here, there were uh, location was an entity and city was an entity that was identified. So, for example, Montreal, Asia, and Europe. So, it identified these ent entities. Now, there is also a table for entities. Now, just like with the categories, this is the table of different entities and sub-entities that the model has been trained on and then I will leave the link in the description uh, in the description so that you can reference to this as well. So these are the entities. Now we have also keywords. Now keywords, this is pretty important and it returns important keywords in the content. So it tries to identify important keywords and for further kind of 
information if you understand how it tries to understand what is important and how it weights important uh, the blue uh, the uh, ibm documentation on this is very important and very interesting also uh, to read about the psychological factors that they and the different kinds of research that they took into consideration into building this and into um, into making it as it is so that is for the keywords and we can see from my text the different keywords that were identified with the different level of confidence and relevance concepts now concepts uh, are uh, they get meaning from text what do i mean by that so for example let's say that we are analyzing uh, some text about uh, an article about digital transformation now it might not say digital transformation anywhere in the text but it is returning to us the concept that because of the words and everything inside of the text and the article it is uh, uh, the concept is digital transformation so in this case uh, i might not be using this so as you can see artificial intelligence is the main concept from this text management machine learning natural language processing and so on are the different concepts even though i do not write about especially about artificial intelligence i actually don't mention artificial intelligence any anywhere inside of my introduction so why because artificial intelligence is a very broad field and in my introduction i'm quite specific on the different technologies i'm using so it has identified artificial intelligence and it has based on the different words and technologies that i've used and it has given it a score of 98 percent excellent all right so relations now what are relations relations recognize two entities that are related and identifies the type of relationship and there is also uh, a list of relationship that is provided by IBM. So, for example, entity one and entity two, guest speaker employed by the relation is employed by university. So, as you can see, this is this is not very correct. Uh, and neither are the other ones. But a better entity would be, for example, Nobel Prize and Albert Einstein. So, um, so this relation might connect the two entities together the nobel prize with albert einstein so in this case it's connecting guest speaker with universities connecting i with companies and connecting companies with europe not really uh, not really that that relevant so that is for the extraction we've covered classification extraction and now we should cover linguistic now linguistic sentiment roles now this is uh, this is really fun so this parses sentences into subject action and object so why i say that this is really fun because you can break up the different uh, components of your sentence and you can then analyze different components so you have a sentence and let's take out the action out of each sentence and now let's analyze the different actions that are in the whole text and let's try to get the meaning from the different actions or the object or the subject so this is how you could you, you could use it not per se in just kind of just breaking it out but then analyzing overall the actions the objects or the subject so that's for the sem semantic role now for the syntax the syntax returns information about the tokens and sentences in the input text so for example the token is i part of speech is pronoun and lemma is i and that is allows us to categorize our uh, text again or meaning uh, that we can understand all right i am passionate about improving so we have a pronoun auxiliary adjective again extract me all of the ver verbs or find me all of the verbs inside of the text from those verbs let's try to understand the meaning let's try to understand what is happening and so on so that is linguistic and custom uh, it's when we train our own model and we apply our own model to the neural uh, language understanding uh, component of IBM Watson. So let's see what that looks like with the custom text from one of these uh, preloaded preloaded uh, texts. So let's try with the financial. Let's analyze this text. 
and let's see what the entities are. So in this case, it's using custom entities. It has been trained on these entities and it has identified the following entities. IBM Red Hat as a company. So it has found that all of these different entities are a company and it is 100% sure. At the same time, it has uh, found different relations. So it has found uh, company works with company relation and it has also found a product of company and it has also found the two entities giving it also a very high score so this already gives us a lot of insight into into our uh, into our text without even reading this text i can understand that uh, openshift if openshift is a product of red hat and that red hat works with ibm so and that ibm or also works with red hat so that gives already high level high level meaning but that's also because the model has been pre-trained on this now this is a uh, demo that that is built but the service is actually provides exactly the same services now when you go to the api reference you will see the different So you can, first of all, you can, uh, if you install the uh, IBM CLI, uh, you'll be able to uh, use these parameters directly as they are written here, or you can convert them into whatever language that you are working on. So for example, if you're working with Python, you would directly get what you need to import into your Python file and the different, uh, how you're going to use it. And also these are the different, different calls and what you need to what you need to execute to make to make the call so that is that is pretty much an overview of the natural language understanding we are going to be use, we are going to be training our own model in another video and then we are going to be using this model inside a voice assistant that we are going to be building in a future video so it is important that we understand this model how it works what are the different components what are entities emotions concepts keywords and so on before moving any further so i hope that you enjoyed if you haven't done so subscribe to the channel i hope to see you in the next video have a great day thanks again for watching